Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this video, I'm going to be sharing some of my favorite new features in Adobe Premiere Pro in the new 12.1 update. So if you didn't know, Adobe Creative Cloud just released an update for a few of its apps with some new features. So working on our default timeline in an example project, we can see a couple new buttons that have been added in the Lumetri color and the program and reference windows. This one right here is the comparison view button that's been added, and it allows you to compare your current frame with a reference frame and also use some of the new tools in the Lumetri color panel, like color match, to give you a lot more flexibility and options. So let's say I'm working with two clips that are a bit different in camera quality, and you want to easily match those different tones that you have in your images. With these new tools, we can line up our view in side-by-side, -side, vertical split, or horizontal split views, and also adjust where we are in the reference panel. So let's say I want to have this cool tone that's seen on the left in the right. If I go to the Lumetri color panel, highlight the clip that I want to edit, so this autumn day, and choose apply match right here. And I press that, it'll automatically try to apply the same colors that it sees in the reference window that we've selected. So although it's not perfect, there's definitely more basic correction that you could do if you wanted, like exposure, contrast, etc it really does do a pretty good basic job of giving you a starting point to work with that matches the mid-tones, highlights, and whatnot. And all of it is editable. You can always go back or undo or tweak things a little bit more. And another really useful and fun application for this is let's say you really enjoyed the color in a certain frame or photo or different clip and you wanted to get a nice similar starting point like that. So I have this nice clip from Fight Club. I love the gritty green colors in it. And if I click on my cyclist clip, have the fight club, this is just a screenshot that I've pulled from Google, and select apply match, it'll try to do a good job of giving it that same green and gritty vibe. And you can always go through and adjust it afterwards with your own taste. So this opens up a ton of options for you to match looks from photographs, match your different looks for a more consistent look or creative look and then go and tweak things on your own and have all the other tools and options that were available for you. But that is a really powerful tool, one of my favorites that's been added in this new update, along with some other things like improvement to the essential graphics window and panel, some new audio ducking tools, and some motion graphic template adjustments, which I'll leave a link to some more of Adobe's videos and Creative Cloud updates on this information. But for sure, the comparison view and the color grading tool and the auto match is one of my favorite new features that really unlocks a new level of precision and power in the color correction options available in Adobe Premiere Pro. So if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely leave a like below. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Subscribe to my channel if you're not yet to stay tuned for all of my projects. And follow me on social media at Justin OD Show, like Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter to keep in touch with me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.